Luckily, this victim believed what I had to say and did not send any money to the scammers. These guys were, despite my efforts, pretty successful at stealing money from people. The average amount of money that they steal per victim is around $1,500 and they do this successfully around 4 times a day, 6 days a week, so that comes down to about $150,000 a month. Luckily, not everyone they call falls for their scam. The majority of people realize in time that their story is complete bogus. Then I will help you to cancel this order and also refund back you the amount. Can Cancel it, because I, I did not order it. Okay, ma'am. So love, in order and to take me off your calling list. Listen to me. Do you want me to cancel this order or not, stupid lady? Yes. Yes. What? Yes. What? Yes. I want it canceled. So hold on. Let me help you. Okay. Well, help me do what? To cancel this order, ma'am. All you gotta do is put on there, cancel. Okay, ma'am, do it by yourself. Thank you. Do yeah, it, do you it, will. do it by yourself. Do it by yourself, you stupid lady. Do you know anyone from Dayton, like your family members or any friends? Yeah, there was at one time at a, a fucking old whore that I used to go see all the time. Maybe it's her or you. Hi, you need to take us off your list. We don't have an Amazon account. And who the hell are you? Your mother. Oh, you're my mother. Rented by that. <laughs> मेरा माँ है बोला मेरी माँ तो कहीं फरन गई नहीं ये कब पैदा हो गया माँ हाँ सही बात है मेरा बाप तो फरन गया ही नहीं कभी Looking at your guys' comments on my last video on these scammers, everyone wanted to see me telling the scammers what they were wearing and that is also what this video was supposed to be, telling a scammer exactly what he or she was wearing. Unfortunately, like Jim Browning predicted under that same video, 5.5 hours after my video went up, somebody called the boss to warn him about me and that I had access to their CCTV cameras. We can see that one of the agents in this call center got instructed by the boss to turn the cameras around. He also advised his agent to wear a hat and a mask so that he will be unrecognizable for the video. Following days after this happened, the scammers unplugged all their cameras and upgraded their computers to Windows 10 so that I would lose my access to this call center. The only thing I can do now is call these scammers and since I'm pretty interested to hear this story from the scammers their perspective, let's call in and ask them what happened. Fuck you. Can I ask you, can I ask you a question, ma'am? Oh, like, fuck you. Like, wait, whoa, 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 why are you so hostile? I want to ask you a question. You're why just a motherfucker, bro. Bro, 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 why did you guys reset your call center? <laughs> Do you, do That's you, our job. Do you know what happened to your call center? Did you know what happened? Who the fuck are you to tell me about it? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Well, you're on a Who reset computer. Are you? You're on a. Why are you on a reset computer, man? Fuck you. Your computer got reset. I'm you not afraid why? of it. I will tell you. I will tell you. You know why? Uh huh. Because I. Your call center, and they 